Cruz told the crowd that if they Put don't want to see a President Trump, they better rally around him. Here now, one of the senator's newest recruits, Ron Nearing, is the new national spokesman for the Cruz campaign. Ron, welcome. Uh, good to have you back on the program again this morning. Thank you. So tell me what you expect for tonight, because, you know, early on in this whole process, we saw Ted Cruz not wanting to touch uh, Donald Trump, not wanting to go negative on him. That has changed in recent weeks. What will he do tonight? Well, we'll have to watch and see what happens tonight, but I think certainly you're going to continue to see a stark contrast between Senator Cruz and what he brings to the table and Donald Trump's continuing you know, erratic behavior. Uh, you know, we've, we've seen that every time that Ted Cruz comes closer and closer to Donald Trump, he becomes more and more erratic, Donald Trump does, uh, and that further demonstrates that he doesn't, he's not prepared for this. He's also not prepared for this campaign as evidenced by the fact that he won't release his tax returns, he won't uh, authorize the New York Times to release uh, the uh, secret tape that they have of his, uh, quote, you know, real uh, views on the issue of illegal immigration. Yeah, we've heard about so I that. expect that some of those issues will come out tonight. But, you know, last time around, there was a picture, and of course, all the candidates, when they walk out on stage, they shake hands. Um, but the picture that came out the next day was Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio shaking hands sort of, you know, behind Donald Trump's shoulder. What's the relationship like right now between Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz? And are they, you know, planning to sort of go at the man who's standing in the middle? Look, Marco Rubio is a competitor, Ted, uh, and uh, Donald Trump is a competitor. Look, we're running for president of the United States. We're running full bore uh, straight ahead. We have a campaign team uh, on the ground in the state of Florida where Marco Rubio is in big trouble in his own state, down by 16 to 20 points. So we're, we're running straight for the presidency. But clearly, Donald Trump is the front runner, at least in terms of delegate counts. We're the campaign, however, with momentum coming out of uh, Super Tuesday. We're very, very happy with the results there. Not too many delegate, uh, not too many delegates separate where Donald Trump is and where we are. And so we're looking to advance that further in the states that are going to vote this week and, and coming next week. What do you think about the fact that um, Mitt Romney is going to come out at 11 o'clock and uh, go after Donald Trump? Good idea or not? Well, it, I think that Mitt Romney has a certain place in our party. He was the Republican nominee for president in the last cycle. He's a, obviously an accomplished individual, and he has some strong views on this, uh, on this issue of Donald Trump, as many Americans do. And so I look forward to seeing what he's going to have, have to say today. All right. So you think, you think it's helpful? Well, I think it's a, a necessary step in this process because the nomination for president is not only about delivering the delegates to produce a nominee, but it's also a vetting process. This is the process our candidates go through to make sure that everything about them is known so that we're in the best possible position to go on to the general election against Hillary Clinton or, uh, right. or Bernie Sanders or whoever they nominate. All right, Ron, let me, let me ask you about the path forward because after Super Tuesday, which a lot of people you know, believed was going to be Ted Cruz's strongest night, um, he did well, could have done better in some states that he had felt, you know, were going to be in his corner, perhaps. What states do you guys see as winning states for Ted Cruz over the next several days? Well, I'm not going to get into the, the curtain raising business here on individual, you know, states one by one. Let's just say that we're going to continue to pick up delegates. We're going to continue to to, uh, to do well in the in the uh, states that that come uh, ahead. Uh, but uh, in terms of which will be a win or a loss, right now this is about getting the delegates necessary in order to secure the Republican nomination. And in that regard, you know, we did very well coming out. Not a not a big number of delegates different in terms of what was gained on Super Tuesday between Donald Trump and Ted Cruz. So I'm satisfied. That that moving in and particularly to see you know more information come out about Donald Trump in the days ahead all right so you know states that you feel good about because that's something that Ted Cruz has been able to to voice before um, perhaps he spent a lot of time in Kansas Louisiana are those states where you expect that he will need to perform well to keep going well, we're going to continue to pick up delegates. And in terms of, you know, there's a lot of a lot of the dialogue that you see taking place right now from the campaigns is spin. And uh, I think one of the other campaigns in particular, the candidate whose name uh, rhymes with Marco Rubio, have been doing a great deal of that trying to manipulate uh, the expectations in order to try to create the false sense of momentum, which they don't have. So we're going to do well. We're going to continue to pick up delegates. And then, of course, the biggest chunk of delegates coming up is going to be on March 15th. Yeah, it sure will. All right, Ron Nearing, thank you very much.